Hello, Ashim here, and welcome back to Smiley Mineko and Seagulls Cry. I have changed audio settings again slightly, so once more let me know if there's any issues with it. Uh, I think we're up to part 37 now. Uh, it honestly doesn't... Uh, no, 39, wow. Uh, it honestly doesn't feel like it's been that long. Uh, at least for me. And if this was in Higurashi, then we would be about seeing... Uh, we'd be getting near the end of the episode. I don't know if that's the case for Umineko. But let's continue. Uh, since she's avoided doing that, everything must be the work of a fake witch who wants us to think she's real. I wouldn't be so certain about that. Therefore, a corporate who used the technique other than magic to defeat the closed room couldn't open the door before our eyes. ベッドに<笑> So it's us again, eh? Shikashi. Oh, Kashina Mondana. Given no Yenokoni, Sarani, given no yo, scoot top the noga. Shima or Maruko to cut there. Given no email, subet it can skit the Jesaman or Saigo no Yenisha. Zuibun, Tezamanana. A home within his home to keep him away from his family. In his home. So this is not the case.犯人を探しに行きたいという感じだね。もちろん、犯人を暴くのは私たちである必要がないからです。正論ですが、警察が来るまで危険を犯すべきではありません。ありがとう、南条先生。私は絶対の安全が保障されているわけではない。しかし、バトラ君の推理のお父様が何らかの方法で自ら書斎を出て外で襲われた可能性も否定できません。A while back, I proposed that strange theory as a stopgap measure, but it just as Aunt ever said, even though that trick would be possible. I couldn't explain what motive could have made Grandfather sneak out of his own study in such a troublesome way. Plus, Grandfather couldn't have even used that trick unless he knew that the receipt was wedged into the door. <laughs> Aunt Heather hadn't pointed out that last part, but it's clear how absurd the theory was. So, does that mean a sealed door formed a closed room, just as Aunt Heather claimed? It's an undeniable fact that Aunt Natsui was... Is it an undeniable fact that Aunt Natsui was a culprit? Well, I mean, what might have happened is after his room was invaded the first time, it decided to hide if they opened the room again until he was certain that it was just uh, Genji. If Aunt Eva was were here now, she'd probably make that claim openly and blow my strange theory away. But anyway, 
I had to admit, with a room with both a bed and a toilet, that all eight people could be shut up in. And if any two keys, both of which were gathered here, had to be the safest place in the mansion right now. At the very least, I figured this would be better than just staying shut up in the parlour and hoping nothing would go wrong. But wait, have we been safe only because we've been shut up in the parlour? What if leaving that room and moving to an unexplored location is actually more dangerous? Ah, it's useless, it's useless, so useless. My flimsy head is about to break out in a fever. If I keep spinning the chessboard around, right and wrong will keep switching places over and over, and I won't be able to believe anything. When it seems like the culprit is one of the 18, I want to believe in Beatrice. And once I start believing in Beatrice, I start wanting to find the culprit in the 18. If I keep spinning around forever, in the end my thoughts won't have taken one step from where they started. How far back in the past was it? Curious son taught me about chessboard thinking. That concept of examining the situation by spinning it around and thinking from the enemy's side. I seem to remember being so interested by it back then. I used it to, to guide all my thinking. By the way, Curious son was dad's co worker back then. I never dreamed that she'd someday be added to our family. Didn't Curious son tell me something once? I got the feeling she said, uh, she once said that while this chessboard thinking was one way to look at things, it certainly wasn't all powerful, and it wouldn't be good to rely on it too much. Chessban Shikou ってのはね、昔本で読んだゲーム理論というものを私なりに解釈したものよ。とても面白い学問だから、バトラ君も大学に入ったら挑戦してみるといいわよ。ぜひやってみたいっす。それを勉強して。チェス版思考をもっと鍛えたらどんな相手の手の内も読めるみたいで楽しいじゃないですかでもね盲信し,しちゃダメよゲーム理論は非常に奥深く複雑な学問なのチェス版思考はその上辺だけを私なりに解釈した考え方に過ぎないバトラ君が想像するほどに相手の手の内を読み切るには相当の勉強が必要よ、うん、しかもチェス版理論は応用の効く便利なものではあっても完璧ではない便利ではあっても弱点が多い弱点弱点弱点弱点弱点弱点弱点弱点弱点弱点弱点弱点弱点弱点弱点弱点弱ゲーム理論は突き詰めると数学に行き着くの。Yep. And statistics. 数学の弱点は何か知ってるノイズよ。Yeah, it's statistics.、Um... Yeah. In math, when you write 1 plus 1 equals 2, that process will always result in 1 plus 1 equals 2, no matter how many billions of years pass. Nothing more, nothing less. Uh, and, you know. Floating point errors exist as well. Uh, well, if you're doing 1 plus 1 plus equals 2, I certainly hope you're not using floating points. Anyway,、uh, that's because there's absolutely no noise mixed in. But, for example, unlike math, the Japanese language has noise mixed in. Kanji are a good example. Old kanji and new kanji are slightly different. Which represents an introduction of noise created by the changes between time periods. Isn't history the same? There are dozens of policies that seem foolish in the modern era, but were meaningful at some point in the past. Because the rules of chess are fixed, when a pair of experts are discussing one particular layout, it's possible they could reach the same conclusions whether they're from 100 years in the past or 100 years in the future. However, If rules of chess had gone through massive changes over time, it's possible that a discussion about the same layout would have changed as well.、Uh, yep, I mean, chess has made、um, several changes. So,、uh, for example, being able to move your pawn twice、um, if it's a start, en passant as well.、Um, castling is another one.、Um, there's some others as well, but those are the ones which I can remember off the top of my head. 
その通り人の世の事象は本来ノイズだらけなのよ人の感情だってそうでしょ全く同じことが起こったからといって人は必ず決められた反応を示すとは限らないそれを数学の理論で当てはめ相手の行動を読もうとする時点で、うん、<笑> um, using some game theory. Oh. Yeah. I guess it's more、um, search patterns, but so much.、Um, but minimax,、uh, <clears throat> the idea being that against an optimal、um, opponent, minimax will perform optimally.、Uh, basically, You kind of split everything up into your turns and your opponent's turns, in effect. There are ways that you can make it more complex for not turn based things. But to boil it all down, on your turns, you pick the option that minimizes your opponent's gains over you.、Uh, okay. So if we start out at the You make a tree of all your possible decisions, then you go down each branch to when it's your opponent's turn, then you split it down into all of your actions, then you split it down to your opponent's actions until you get to an end state,、um, or some way which you can evaluate it and give it a number. If you're giving it a number, then、um, when it's your opponent's layer of moves, then they pick the option which is worse for you, and then when it's your turn, you pick the option which is best for you and worse for your opponent. So, You keep going until you get back up to like, the second top layer, and you've got all the options available to you、um, where your opponent has selected the best option for them, and you've selected the best option for you from the evaluation.、Um, and then you choose the option which is best for you、um, based off of those evaluation numbers.、Uh, so, against an optimal opponent, it will always perform optimally because. Again, it's, well, yeah, it's assuming that your opponent would choose your optimal choice, which you kind of have to make that assumption.、Um, so that then you know that you will get at least that good. However, it does not perform optimally against a non optimal opponent.、Uh, you might make a move, <laughs> yeah,、um, you might have two options. One option will Give you a score of five, let's say. And another option, if your opponent plays optimally, might give you a score of、uh, zero. It might be a tie. However, then if you choose that, there's a chance that your opponent makes a mistake, and so you end up getting ten instead. But yeah, in any case, maths. すでに理論には弱点と限界があることを知らなければならない。手っ取り早く言うと。チェス盤思考はノイズや気まぐれそして誤解認識ミスに非常に弱いの。Knowledge is what wins you everything in all those games. Kiryu-san definitely said that. Chess has always been a game where both sides play by the same rules and fight with the same conditions for victory. That's why it's possible for both sides to predict the other's moves. It's possible to read your opponent because you can always suppose they'll make the best moves they can find. But if your opponent is fickle or a bit tired, it makes a move that can hardly be called the best. Or, what if this game actually has a special rule? Some unknown thing that only the enemy knows about and can use. In fact, what if the opponent actually has some goal other than victory? Yep. Try to、uh, think from your enemy's perspective. That's the basis of chessboard thinking. Yeah,、uh, and sometimes when you're down far enough in chess, sometimes people will stop trying to win and instead try to draw. So then you have to be worried about、uh, the kind of chats that you can use to pull out a stalemate. Which means, if you misread your enemy, the anti you draw from this process will be complete rubbish, useless. So far, I've used chessboard theory to guess several vague bits of information about the culprit hiding behind the case. That's all I think. However, I don't know anything about the culprit. Am I just playing around in a labyrinth of thought? Nope, you don't know what their goals are or anything. 
if Kiria's son were here at a time like this. She'd probably be able to notice something of um, much sharper thinking ability. I got lost in that sentence. <laughs> hmm. Until the very last moment, Jessica resisted moving into Grandfather's study. But in the end, Aunt Natsui persisted, and we decided to move there. Everyone was completely wrapped in paranoia now. You know, it's our syndrome? Uh, <laughs> Kimisawa-san had prepared dinner at one point. During the time, we were discovering the deaths of George Janaki's parents. Both the kitchen and the parlour had been left empty. Someone suggested that the food might have been poisoned while we were gone. Because of that, we were unable to even touch the food with Kimisawa-san and take the trouble to make for us. The manner in which the first six were killed is still unknown, but it certainly could have been poison. Certainly, that would allow even a single person to carry out the murder of six large adults. Furthermore, this idea made it easy to imagine there being only a single culprit, one who'd be afraid of Aunt Natsui's rifle. This was very good for our emotional stability. But the fatigue and hunger were har even harsher than we'd imagined. Then, Kumasawa-san made a proposal, and we all went together to the kitchen. There, we gathered some canned food and other things that would be hard to poison to take in with us. All of Kumasawa-san's efforts to reward us, just a little dinner on the savage day regrettably came to nothing. The food powdered up on the serving cart looked just a little sad. We all started climbing the stairs. Aunt Natsui, who was in the lead, warily stared into the darkness with both eyes and the barrel of the gun. Once we dragged ourselves up to the third floor, just as Aunt Natsui had warned us beforehand, there was a mixture of a chemical smell and a sickly sweet aroma, a stench hanging in the air that felt like it was eating into our heads. Naruhodo. Hmm. Perhaps some kind of psychotic. Imasara Nagara. Jesama no Shosani Hantai Sta Jeshka ni Sansei Tazi. Felt like the stench is floating out from this magnificent door. It was the door to a forbidden study, which should defend against any who would enter. While Genshi Sun unlocked the door, Maria stared at the door and the doorknob with great interest. It's a scorpion. <laughs> the scorpion keychain. Ah, uh huh. Hmm. Oh, it's a big door. 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 Maria pointed at the doorknob. The scorpion crest. No, designed like a magic circle arranged around a scorpion. It's inscribed there. Scorpion wheel, maybe? That sign. That's right. That doesn't quite match up, but okay. Isn't it just like those keychain charms Maria gave Jessica and me yesterday? Sure. Sure. Again, sure. Sure.魔法人は相当丹念に作られていて、力がよく満ちている。Again, Okay, sudden thought here, which is probably very far off the truth, basically as soon as I even thought about it, but um, what are the chances that it is meant to keep Beatrice out, but to keep Beatrice in? Question mark? Nara. <laughs> Beatrice, 
ベアトリーチェは中に入れないでも彼女には魔法があるし使い魔だっているそれらを使っておじいさまが自分から書斎を出てくるように仕向けることはできるかもああ漫画で読んだな吸血鬼は十字架が怖くて近づけねえけど使い魔たちはへっちゃらなんで使い魔に襲わせるみたいなシーンを読んだことがあるぜバトラたちに昨日あげたサソリのキーホルダーのようなお守りもこの火星の5の魔法陣だよ込められている力はビビたるものだけどこの島を出るまでの間を守ってくれるだけなら十分だったなくしちゃったそうだけどね<笑>サソリのキーホルダーのお守りあああその昨日私が母さんに渡したお守りはマリアにもらったものだったんだよドアノブにかけると魔よけになるとか言われて私より母さんの方がいいかなってあの時は思って Before anyone died. そうでしたかジェシカにしては変わったものを持っていると思っていました<笑>夏日おばさんがあれをドアノブにええゆうべそう聞き寝る前に扉の内側のドアノブにかけましたなら夏日おばさんはとても幸運だよそうだったなら夕べベアトリーチェは夏日おばさんに指一本触れられなかっただろうねベアトリーチェはさぞや悔しがったと思うよ<笑>ビアトリーチェはなぜかなぜかなぜかなぜかなぜかなぜかなぜかなぜかなぜかなぜかなぜかなぜかなぜかなぜかなぜかなぜかなぜかなぜかなぜか Blood soaked hands and gasped in surprise. Could it be? Is this which she called herself Beatrice? Try to enter through the door to Natsui's own room? The magic repelling charm had been hanging from the inside, so she couldn't break through the door. So she was annoyed. So she scratched at it? Yose, so you are Hannes. Majo nan ka i naise. いるのは犯人それも私たちと同じ人間だそれを確かめる必要があるってならやつ先にして血が赤いかも確認してやろうじゃねえかくそくそよくもカノンくんGenji unlocked the door. And the question is is there something inside? Eight people entered Kinzo's study. That's, that's it? Nothing else? Okay. <laughs> Grandfather's study. I'd heard rumors about it beforehand, so I wasn't that shocked. He'd done nothing more than fortify it thoroughly with his coach hobbits. Hobbies. I said Hobbits, didn't I?、Uh, and he's got the inscription there, so come on, read it. Read the epitaph. His <laughs> grandfather's hobbies had been chasing after pop idols. These dwarves might be buried beneath idol posters. <laughs> Even if I didn't understand it, I did realize that this room was a bundle of all his pastimes. Even so, I couldn't help but remain dumbfounded by the smell of his creepy medicine and the sweet stench that seemed to melt my head. Knocked in. And the door was closed. It automatically made a clunk. I see. This is the auto lock that's activated when the door is closed. And there were only two keys that could open this door from the outside, both of which were in this room. In other words, it's become a quote unquote closed room. The shutter, the receipt, the chain. And now, the auto lock. The fourth door had the most magnificent lock yet, and this was doubtlessly a closed room. Just to make sure, absolutely sure, that the room was secure, we checked all over for ways in or out. 
The window is tightly locked. That should have been enough. But just in case, we tried knocking all over the walls. After all, we had talked about there being a hidden door in this room. But we couldn't find anything suspicious. Grandfather's study was very large. Even though we called it a study, it wasn't really a single room. It could be divided up into four basic sections. A study section, a bedroom section, a toilet and bathroom section, and a section for cooking which had a sink. I see. The study really does have enough to, in it to live in. Now I see how Grandfather could live his whole life in this room without ever leaving. It seemed Grandfather wasn't in the habit of watching TV, because there's no television, or even a radio in his room, in this room. He can't do anything except pass the time listening to the sound of the rain until tomorrow morning. Dr. Nanjo looked closely at the chessboard that sat on the table in front of him, so, but he muttered, it was apparently the partly finished chess match she'd been playing with Grandfather until yesterday. The black had white pretty well cornered, and it looked like checkmate could be reached within a few moves. The last part of the end game. This isn't the last part of the end game. If it was the last part of the end game, there certainly wouldn't be two minor pieces on each side and two rooks on each side. Hmm. Used to be. And Black can't just uh, leave his uh, move his rook easily either. It's steward on the bishop. There is the easy check if I would move Forza King here, basically. Oh, they could definitely block there. Oh well, anyway. Even though checkmate had almost been reached, it hasn't quite yet. At least at a glance. Um, the end game had been rushed, and in the end, it was never completed. Kinzo-san, this game He's black into his right, I wonder. なんでもせず。わしは長く金蔵さんの友人だったが、金蔵さんのことを知っているのは半分だけでしかなかった。金蔵さんにはいつも聡明な金蔵さんとは何かの教訓とらわれた金蔵さんの二人が同居していたように思
Aunt Natsui also seemed to realize that. So she glanced over the contents first without reading it aloud. We were a little frightened that she might grimace after reading something shocking, but she just frowned unhappily. No, you are not. Natsui, after deciding that the contents could be shown to the children, set it openly on the table. Everyone stared at it at the same time. Whose name? Okay, so... Oh, that seems like I've gone over time a bit. But, um... Seems like it might... Oh, we're about to get the second letter. I won't look at that yet. Um... Hmm. Where is my neighbor name? Question also remains who? Probably Beatrice, but it might still be Kinsa. Oh, I just noticed there's a golden red background on the back of my chair. Um, yeah, I'm. So yeah, I'm wondering if Kinzo, or quote unquote Kinzo, and. Uh, uh, canon, uh, 4th and 5th, or just extras? And then we're still to have the 4th and 5th. Hmm. In any case, I hope you all enjoyed. Let me know any feedback you have in the comments. And until next time, see ya.